have been doing some exploring. Check it out. So I need your guys' help finding a spot to build. This is a nice flat area right at the bottom of the hill. And those are all uh, burnt dead trees I could use for logs and whatnot. Um, this is another cool spot up on the side of the hill. I could dig in a little bit. So see, they're burnt, but inside, guys, it's, it's nice timber. Nice, very nice timber. Um, this is another cool spot right on the side of the hill. Looks easy to dig in. Got a nice view. Got a nice view of the Christopher McCandless bus. And uh, really pretty. This is a real nice looking spot right there, son. Uh. Uh, right here, I'm getting to the top of one of the hills. It's flat. Um, I could build in a spot where no trees would fall on me. Um, the only problem with that spot is I'm at the top of the hill. And it's such a far hike down and up, so it would be hard getting my stuff up there and going up every day but i don't i don't have service at the spot but i'm about to climb that mountain and see if i got service at the top of that i'm pretty sure there's bears cougars and wolves out here so i'm gonna keep an eye out for a stick that would make a good spear it seems there's a creek bed on the property that would be crazy if this started flowing in the winter found a good spear stick yeah this definitely fills up with water sometimes I made it uh, quite a bit a ways up the hill, but no reception yet. I'm gonna keep going. Guys, I've decided I'm not going to the top because even if there is service up there, I'm never coming up here again. In there, just like so. where I'm gonna build and I'm gonna start digging right now. We got an awesome slope on the side of this hill overlooking pretty nice view. There's a creek that will run right through there in the spring. Um, I'm up on the hill a little bit so that uh, water doesn't move me out. And I got all these dead trees to cut down and work with. I'm gonna dig into the mountain, hopefully more than I build. Roof, walls, door, I'm gonna look like a hobbit. Now's the fun part. This is what it looks like before, day one. Come back every day to see the progress that I make. There's gonna be a house right here. Just one whack at a time. The bus is only about 100 yards from here. That's where I'm gonna be storing all my stuff while I'm building this thing. Okay, hopefully this gives you an idea of what I'm trying to do. This is like 30 minutes of work, but just dig, dig back and ching path. And this is where I'm kicking it. Yeah, let's go. This is where I'm at. I'm going to dig it back all the way up to about there. I'm thinking of putting a fence like right here so I can move this dirt into a flat spot, extend it out to there even, have a porch. It'll be like 15 feet deep. Guys, wouldn't it be crazy if on top of my roof, I had a zip line going all the way down to the bus. I'm going to build an elegant staircase up here as well. I'm at 8,000 feet elevation, so... I keep running out of breath like every 15 minutes, but we're getting progress going, guys. It's going. Already adjusted to the one meal a day. Um, just snacking on nuts throughout the day. Got a creek only two minutes away where I can fill up water and shower. There's no service out here, but I think I'm definitely gonna invest in a Starling. Go live and show you guys the progress of me building it. Winter is gonna be um, really cold. I only got like a month or two before the snow hits. So I gotta get to it, bro. I gotta get to it. Working on a fence to hold up my porch. These logs experienced a forest fire a couple years ago. And so they're coated with a perfect protection from bugs and moisture. I'm aiming for in between the spear and that tree right there. Okay. <laughs> oh, damn. It's up there, stuck on that tree. I'm about to clear this out and then try to fall it.
beautiful. Let me cook! Two, that's enough for the potatoes. And then I need two thirds of a cup for the ground beef. What the fuck? Oh, it's gonna tip. It's gonna tip. Okay, doing it in here. Well, serve A wind barrier. Woo! I'm only gonna be doing a half cup of it. Oh, fuck. Boom. I don't know how much that is. Oh, it's getting hot, guys. It's getting hot. I can't think when it's hot, and I already can't think before that. I need a table. Uh, Yeah, I do need a table. Yeah, New Mexico. I'm in the mountains. Let's go. Let me cook. Let me cook. How do you think that beef's doing, guys? Honestly, it doesn't look like it's cooking. Bro. Need to get that back up to a boil. And then we'll throw the potatoes in there. Will survives barely. Yup. The barely isn't the important part. Will still survives. Skadoosh. Oh, what the fuck? That turned into mashed potatoes in like half of a second. Would you guys believe me if it's already mashed potatoes? Tad. But I think I want some of that water action. Ground beef. Stir. Throw some hot sauce in there. Oh, hot. Hot. Oh, it's hot. Mm. Yeah, burnt my tongue for sure, burnt my tongue. Oh, it's hot. Why I grew that gun? I could probably go get cow shit and mix it in with the potatoes and it would still be better than the rice and beans. All right, I've got that tree all cut up. Now it's time to take down this one. <laughs> so this is what I'm gonna do with those. Pound them in the ground, pause, and then and do this all around here. Fence it off and fill it in with dirt. Dig a little hole, fill in the little gaps with little rock. All right, we gotta hope that I can fill that in there's uh, some of this fencing laying around on the property. Uh, this isn't enough, but hopefully I can use this and find some more. Okay, well, it was a cool idea, but now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know if that will hold dirt. I might need to fill that all in with logs. Got them all connected with this uh, little rope. Boom. All right, this is where I'm at right now. Ching pow. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions or tips for me. I'd love to hear any ideas you guys got. Will survive. Here's an up close look at the spear. We got uh, this knife blade running all the way down to here. Wrapped it with twine and some of this metal wire I found. And then I co coated it with E6000 glue. Did one more layer of twine, one more layer of glue, and then covered it in ash. 
it's balanced real well and it's a it's a nice weight so i could throw some nice shots with it Baby. All right, I ended up just using that fence actually, and then I'm just gonna cover it with random brush. You know what I mean? Random plants should hold dirt. If I go like that, I should be able to move this dirt, lay it up against that, and it'll be flat all the way into the mountain. This is what it looks like from below. Fence is just a retaining wall. So that, uh, the fence goes up to how high my floor is gonna be. I'm gonna dig into the mountain and then it's also gonna extend out past the mountain. So I have a porch area. Hopefully that explains it a little bit. I'll try to get a better video uh, soon. Also guys, I'm going into town, going to Walmart, getting some supplies. Um, if you guys have anything, cause I'm not gonna remember everything. Uh, you guys should comment things that I should get so that I don't, uh, so that Will survives. Will continues to survive. Also, I gave myself a haircut. How's it looking? How's it looking? We go down south and up the mountain. I have less than a month to build a shelter in the mountains that can withstand rain, snow, and high winds while keeping me warm. I did this before in an easier climate and had a basketball hoop, punching bag, music studio. It was legit. But it was on federal property and I got busted. I'm hoping come springtime, I'm back to where I was. So I'll have time to make a garden, get animals like chickens and a dog and a monkey and a tiger and whatever else I want to do. Going to be really cold, like negative 30 degrees. So I have to build a very warm shelter. To do that, I'm going to be building it into the side of the hill to get some natural insulation from the earth. I got fishing spots, wild game, a creek about a half mile away, bus for storage, and I'm sleeping in the van while I build. I choose to live this lifestyle because I like to challenge myself with uncomfortable and difficult situations. And I want some dad lore for when I'm older, you feel me? If you're not following yet, follow me now. And let's see if we'll survive. Wa boop, wa bop, bop. Working on uh, digging into the side of the hill for the shelter. Let's go. Uh, more digging, more plants, more sticks. Let's go. I uh, started working on a ladder right here so I could put up the um, the basketball hoops. So I'm just putting notches in those, ching pounding them on two big logs, and then um, yeah. Okay, there's more digging. Did some more digging. Did some more digging. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, started working on the ladder again. Wha bam, wha bop, and then I decided to actually not use it to make the basketball hoop. I'm putting it right there, bro, and I'm gonna make another ladder for the basketball hoop. What the hell? Uh, and oh yeah, I put a target up and tried some spear throws, but I was not throwing that freaking good today, guys. So I um, I gave up. Never hit the target. Big L, big L. That's all right. Tomorrow, thunder.
a lot of people are saying opposed to building a shelter in the side of the mountain i should be making my shelter in the bus because it would be easier and i only have less than a month before the snow falls um i'm not gonna do that because i want to build a shelter in the side of the mountain but i am cleaning up the bus to um so i can kick it in here and store my stuff in here it's a very cool spot i want to do a chicken coop and a greenhouse in here eventually very pimping it was uh it was kind of difficult to clean i did not have a broom only the metal rake small metal rake and um there was a bunch of nails on the floor that kept kept getting me stuck but it it looks pretty good now i think what do you guys think got the basketball hoop up let's go i had to hug the tree I couldn't complete the uh, trick shot before I had to get back to work. So uh, check in tomorrow to see if I can get the things I'm trying to do while out here is cut down on my eating. Before I was living out in the woods, I loved to eat three meals a day, El Taco Express, chicken enchilada. After a long day of hard work, it feels so good to sit down and eat a nice meal that fills you up, eat till you're full. Most of the time we feel like it's actually necessary. We're not doing it for pleasure. It's so that we can survive, but I'm here to tell you it's not true. It's only been about a week of me being out here, snacking on nuts and eating only when I have to. And um, I've lost the craving for food completely. I can now go a whole day without eating easily if I want. It's all in the head. If you're used to eating, you're gonna wanna eat. You're gonna think that you have to eat. At the uh, percentage of Americans that are overweight and obese, and you have to think to yourself, okay, is that right or is it not? If you're not eating like I am, or I eat, but like not a ton, not as much as I used to, you still feel the same. Happiness. You don't miss the food once you lose the craving for it. I don't feel like I've lost any energy either. Don't, I get more work done in a day than I used to. So I'm digging into the side of the, uh, the mountain for a shelter, moving all the dirt over here, but I'm running into a problem. Look what I'm dealing with. About three feet down, uh, it starts to become straight rock. So I'm using the uh, pickaxe and I'm just going ham on rock. If you guys are wondering why the digging is going a little bit slow. But uh, almost done. I say give it, uh, give it a couple days and I'll start building. The retaining wall seems to be holding up pretty nice also. Uh, it's, uh, we've, I've only gotten a little bit of rain, a couple of days of rain, heavy rain, but uh, only a couple days. So we'll, we'll continue to see how that does. But I'm definitely thinking of putting more supports along the back. Because I want, I want to cover this with logs. I want to go logs right next to each other um, and a staircase going up so it looks nice. Living in the woods, it's really important to have a spot that I can clean my hands and take showers and have drinking water uh, at all times of the day so that is what i am doing today right here i'm working on a water collection system it's duct tape all the way along the top on this side i have this wood plank going to this post in the ground on this side i have another post right here and it's lower so that the water gets pushed this way and then I'm thinking I need to get a barrel, like one of those big, um, like 50 gallon barrels, you know what I mean? And I'm just gonna tie the string down so that all the water filters in this way. 
figure out a way to uh, flip these lips up and uh, it creates water collection system for me and a dry spot right next to the bus and it keeps this section of the bus dry day one day in the life of will survives i gotta build a shelter in less than 30 days i got people saying i'm not smart i'm gonna die and then there's people that know that uh will survives i cleaned out the van after i did a couple hours of digging uh came across these rocks gosh dang it um i had to set up a i started on the water collection system today it's uh not complete not completely sturdy but it's a good start it's all gonna give me some water and then i went to the courthouse to get something and then i had to go to the post office and I, uh they were close so i got some food and then i got a p.o box at the post office and then i cooked up the food i ate um i ate this i think it said gumbo and uh peaches i ate uh, that and half the peach can saving the rest of the peaches for later then i started digging again uh, made some progress made some real good progress we're almost done digging uh do you guys have any suggestions for what i should do with these rocks maybe uh looking pretty cool huh and then i ended the day with shooting some hoops look how that rolls catch a big old fish challenge this is a real fishing challenge if i don't catch nothing i'm not allowed to eat today first cast i just bought this fish at the store it was humanely dispatched and prepared by professionals fishy when cooked just right that meat should fall right off the bone let's go let's go Let's go, baby. Let's go. We'll survive. We'll continue to survive every day. Now let's go dig some holes. Let's go! Woo! So I'm digging some more. Take a break from fighting off wild bears with my bare hands because I saw someone saying I'm cutting these shots like Bieber or Drake. Now I hopefully have three weeks to build a shelter in the side of the mountain before snow falls and I start getting below zero degree weather. I was hoping to have a monkey and tiger by springtime, but I'm realizing now I might have to settle for chickens and a dog. I have been mining away like Minecraft and have finally finished the digging portion. I have done something like this before and let me tell you guys now's when the fun starts i'm about to start dropping trees and stacking logs i'm planning on doing a uh, single pitch roof slanting down with the mountain so that hopefully it blends in with the mountain looks a little bit more natural and i'm hoping to collect rainwater off the roof for drinking i'm using this bus for storage i'm sleeping in my van i started working on this rain collector it's not working out very well well i gotta start collecting firewood right now and i gotta never stop and i just put up a basketball hoop really good buckets let's go we'll survive so let's go TikTok, i need your help i have dug out the spot for the fort very nice hole in the side of the mountain i wish i could go further back but i can't the plan was to do a post right there and a post right there line logs behind them and on either side with two posts up front. But I've ran into an issue. I stopped digging because it's impossible to get uh, past these rocks right down here, right where the posts are supposed to go. It's not too much of a problem. I kind of like the little lip of rock right there because I want to line the sides with a little layer of rock also so that the logs don't rot away as fast. You can get a post 
probably right here, maybe. I'm not sure if I can dig through that rock. This side, I definitely can't. I can make it happen, Will survives. But I'm wondering if there's any freaking engineers or architects or anybody who has um any cool ideas of how to build up the shelter because i only had that one idea and i haven't really thought past it for i know what we're gonna do today this genius guy commented this genius comment i wasn't gonna be able to dig post holes right here because so now i'm gonna dig an extra foot and a half back only down to about this level right here it'll make a, a nice little shelf that's right where the soft rock starts to begin then i'll be able to put a post here and here with ease logs behind and have a nice shelf thank you to that guy very much so i picked up this at the stove and i'm gonna line the inside of the whole cabin with it and line irrigation system around the cabin with it let's go i'll put my bed right here with stove like right here music studio like right here And I might set up a desk right here to play Minecraft. Uh -oh. My name is Will, I'm in the forest. I got sticks, logs, mud, and I got moth by my door. Oh my door. I use that cabinet for stores. I have dug out the spot for the fort. Very nice hole in the side of the mountain. I wish I could go further back, but I can't. The plan was to do a post right there and a post right there. Line logs ran into an issue. I stopped digging because it's impossible to get uh, past these rocks right down here, right where the posts are supposed to go. Fur, I know what we're gonna do today. I wasn't gonna be able to dig post holes right here. I'm gonna dig an extra foot and a half back, only down to about this level right here. It'll make a, a nice little shelf. That's right where the soft rock starts to begin. Then I'll be able to put a post here and here with ease. Logs behind and have a nice shelf. I picked up this at the stove and I'm gonna line the inside of the whole cabin with it and line irrigation system around the cabin with it. Bed right here with stove like right here. Music studio like right here. And I might set up a desk right here to play Minecraft. I want to say five nine so bad but I'm five eight and a half. Depth perceptions messing it up a little bit but the fort is about six feet tall six and a half feet wide there was a tree stump right here preventing me from digging wider but i'm still working on my building plan so i decided to make it a little bit wider i want to keep it kind of small because the smaller it is the easier it will be to heat but i do want to be able to stand in it and i want my bed to be able to go that way right there quite a few people stressing about the water entering my cabin they must not know that will survives right now i'm sitting in the soon to be drainage system black tarp wood wall another black tarp Skiweep. line it with rocks and dig little streams going down the side lining with plastic sheet and with little rocks when the structure of the roof is built i have this huge pile of dirt and one over there cover the roof with and plant a garden on the top funnel for all the water to go to one spot and i'll filter that and that'll go into a bucket let's get the ideas rolling done digging for sure flat spot up top for the drainage system i started digging post holes but I've ran into an issue. Not an issue, but some things I wanna go over with you guys. Started digging a post hole up here at the top for the back post. It's not seeming that sturdy though. Maybe should have dug out the shelf a little more. But that idea honestly doesn't seem the best because those back posts have to hold a lot of weight. I also started dropping trees this morning for all the uh, lumber I'm gonna need to build. Timber! Step one is line the whole inside with plastic. I'm thinking, possibly, bracing the posts up here. This shelf, the back wall with rocks to the roof. I can have the posts here, but still have the roof extend out past the shelf. That would look cool, and I think it would be pretty functional. Here's a better view. You guys, let me know. I have less than a month left. Less than a month, I have to build a shelter in the side of the mountain because the snow's about to fall. All I really need to fit is my bed and the wood stove. The smaller the shelter is, the easier it is to keep warm. So this is the start to my drainage system right here. I'm just gonna pray that that works out in the, in the long run. I already got the basketball hoop set up. Now I just gotta set up a punching bag and a music studio. I actually just first realized I got to do the cabin first and then music studio. 
punching bag. I got to get a pet tiger at some point. Maybe a pet polar bear. Uh, we will see though. That's future plans for stuff. So I'm sleeping in my van while I build. So if it ever gets too cold, don't worry. I'm not tapping. I'm sleeping in the van. I've been wearing this shirt for three days in a row now. I'm surprised no one has called me out. I already got the basketball hoop set up. 